Day 11, you made it. We are here together to walk through this together. So today let's talk about building your God-like character. As we are fasting and as we're walking through um, this time together, there are so many things I know in my own life personal things that I want uprooted. How do we do that? Because we don't just want to uproot those things, but we want to replace them well. So let's dive into our scripture for today. Galatians 5, 19 through 26 says, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told, also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another and envying one another. I know that when you hear that, at least when I hear it, that is a lot. Some of those things I wouldn't even dream or imagine that I could do. But none of us are above sin. So whatever it is, wherever you can take from this word today, let God minister to you. Let Him teach you. Repent of these things so that we can become more like Him. We all have a responsibility. We're all entreating for Him something in this fast. Um, we're expecting something from Him, and that's a good thing, but we also have our own responsibilities. So in this, we need to recognize what needs to be taken out of our hearts, what we need to kill and how we need to replace that. So focus, meditate on these things. What is it? What does it mean to become more like Him, to have His love, to be His joy, His peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? That's a part of what we're doing today. So as you, as a little person, part of your flesh dies, a bigger part of his spirit can it be a part of your life and the way you walk. It's not just living in the spirit, but it's walking in the spirit. So be encouraged today, family, as we learn together how to do this better. Um, let's pray. Father, I just thank you for the opportunity to be more like you. Um, you've given us everything we need to know. You've given us your word. You've given us your spirit. You've given us um, the ultimate gift, and that is you, to redeem us in a world that's so broken. So Father, I thank you for your hope. I thank you that we have the strength to walk in the Spirit, to uh, walk away from our flesh, to kill our own desires, and to replace them with the goodness and the faithfulness and the peace and the joy that only you can give. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us how to be more and more like you each and every day. And I just rebuke whatever's happening right now, whatever is hurtful, whatever is unfruitful that's happening in their lives, God, I just thank you um, in Jesus' name that we get to rebuke and bind the enemy and that we get to stand for your word and stand on your word as we are um, becoming more and more like you each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow.